show, I Married Joan, America's favorite comedy show, starring America's queen of comedy, Joan Davis, as Mrs. Joan Stevens. And featuring Jim Backus as Judge Bradley Stevens. Johnny, what's so funny? Nothing. Johnny, no, what is it? There's nothing. Johnny, it's got to be something. Well, Brad, if you must know, well, maybe you won't think it's funny for the Now, oh, wait a minute, Johnny. Nothing can be that funny. Let me see what you think is such a riot. I'll bet that it's not even funny. I'll bet that... I'll have you know that you're laughing at the ladies' hairstyle of the month. For your information, it says that this hairstyle is sweeping the country. <laughs> well, that's the way the hair looks like it's been sweeping the country street by street. <laughs> <laughs> See, Brad, I wonder how this would look on me. <laughs> Uh, how do I look, Brad? Uh, well, as a, as a woman, you don't look so good, but as a Mexican hairless, you look wonderful. <laughs> oh, I'll get it, dear. <laughs> Hello? Butch? Who? Butch? B Butch Henderson? Oh, say, it's good to hear your voice again, Butch. Yeah, 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 I'll see you at the big reunion Saturday, Butch. <laughs> What's that? Yeah, well, well, thanks for calling me, Butch. Uh, I'll, uh, I'll see you at the party, Butch. So long, Butch. <laughs> oh, Mrs. Stevens, your hair is simply magnificent. Soft like silk. Oh, Fletcher, I'll bet you tell that to all the women. Yes, I do. It helps business. <laughs> I think we're ready for massage now. Uh, tell me, Fletcher, uh, do you give that new panda haircut here yet? Oh, yes. Yes, of course. Well, my husband and I saw a picture of it in a magazine last night, and I... <laughs> And would you believe it? It's the first hair comb that my husband and I ever agreed upon. The panda cut? Oh, yes. We each took one look at that new style. <laughs> so I said I was going to get one for the college reunion. Uh, may I compliment both you and your husband on your good taste? <laughs> well, after all, Fletcher, one look at that panda cut is all you need. Uh, that's very true, Mrs. Stevens. Shall I proceed to do the hair now? Uh, of course. I guess you know how I want it. Mm, of course. I know exactly how you want well, it. Well, believe me, Margie, it's the absolute truth. I'm sorry, I don't believe it. I know Jack and Betty and I just don't believe it. Now, Margie, you know I'm not the kind of a woman that carries tails. Excuse me, Mrs. Norman. I can take you down here now. Thank you very much. And whether you believe it or not, it's true. Oh, I bet it's just some idle gossip. You know how willing people always are to believe the worst. Well, I didn't want to say this before, but just to prove it's not idle gossip, I saw Betty and Jack myself with my own eyes. <laughs> yes, I did. Exactly. What did you see? Uh, Mrs. Stevens. Uh... Margie, if I tell you, will you promise not to tell us? unless you do. Promise? Well... Oh, promise her and let's find out what it is, huh? <laughs> I didn't say anything. Well, 
neither did I. Neither did I. <laughs> Judy, are you going to tell me what you saw or aren't you? Okay, listen to this. Mrs. Stevens, shall we be daring? Yeah, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Remember, Betty promised her mother and father that she'd break her engagement to Jack? Mm -hmm. She said she'd never see him again. That's right. Well, yesterday afternoon, I saw them coming out of the restaurant together. And when they saw me, they tried to duck away. But I saw them, and I got behind a post to listen. And what I heard, just wait till I tell you. Really, you know? You don't say me. I do say, and they even agreed to meet again. And you should have heard how lovey-dovey they were, too. I think we're all dry now. Uh, Shall I comb it out for you? Uh, no, thanks, Fletcher. I'm late with some shopping. Uh, I'll comb it out myself at home. And besides, Fletcher... And every word I told you is true. But, well, well, maybe it was some other couple that looked like Jack and Betty. Oh, not a chance. I was standing right next to them. It was Jack and Betty, all right. <laughs> and now do you believe me? Well... Well, I don't know about her, but you certainly convinced me. And furthermore, I'm going to tell Betty's mother and father about those secret meetings with Jack, because Betty's been a very nice girl, and her mother and father did all that she could. By the way, Betty who? <laughs> oh, Betty well, all right. <laughs> Kill me, and it's all your fault. My husband was going to kill me. My husband was going to murder me. My husband. Oh. Quick, hide! It's my husband. He's home. Hello, lover. Oh, hello, honey. <laughs> What's new, dear? What's been going on? The question is, what's been coming off? <laughs> Brad, uh, you, you, what did you say? Say, that's going to be some reunion Saturday. I was talking to Butch Henderson again today. That's fine. You know, talking about Butch brings back memories. Will you ever forget that end around play against State? I cut around end, and Butch cut two tackle, then Butch cut around guard. Brad. Uh, yes? Uh, speaking of cutting. Uh, yes, dear? Uh, well, uh, uh, Speaking of cutting what? Uh, I just remembered I better start cutting the meat for dinner. this eye shade get on me? Well, I put it on you, dear. You see, I figured if you woke up before I did, uh, that is, I didn't want the daylight to come in and wake you too early. Oh, well, that's uh, very considerate of you, dear. I'm glad I'm up early. I got a breakfast date with Butch Henderson. <laughs> Good old Butch. Remember the end of round play? Made four touchdowns against State, would have made five, but we got a penalty for clipping. Oh. <laughs> Yes, dear. Uh, uh, speaking of uh, clipping, th th there's something I meant to tell you. What is it, dear? Well... Speaking of clipping what? Uh, it reminded me that you ought to go at the barber shop and get a haircut for the reunion. That's a good idea. <laughs> there we go. There you are, Judge. Oh, I must have dozed off. So tired I ought to have gone home, but I... Gotta look good for the reunion. Ah, uh, well, you just relax, Judge. You take it easy, and I'll take care of you. What a reunion it's gonna be. Gonna see all the old gang. Good old Butch. Good old Butch. 
<laughs> Did you say Butch? Yeah, Butch. <laughs> Well, okay, Judge. There we are, all finished. Oh, thank you, Larry. That nap was very refreshing. <laughs> ah, yes, sir. Have a look at that. <laughs> That's very, very funny. Now get me a real mirror. <laughs> that is a real mirror. Don't be silly. That, that fellow in there is practically bald and... <laughs> As soon as Brad walks in, I'm going to tell him. Well, I can't keep this horrible haircut a secret any longer. I, I, I'll call you later, dear. Hi, honey. Hello, dear. Brad, I, I've got something terrible to tell you, but I might as well say it. Oh, well, I've got some terrible news for you, too. It's about the haircut. The haircut? But how could you... Oh, Brad, it's the most awful haircut in the whole world. Yes, I, I, I guess it is. You mean you know about the haircut? Well, naturally, I was the first one. Uh, as long as we both know about it, I guess there's no sense hiding it any longer. I guess not. <laughs> Tony, uh, what about the reunion? Oh, Brad, I wish it was a masquerade. We could go as two heads of cabbage. Tony, you know something? I, I think it looks kind of nice. In, in fact, I don't mind admitting I like it. It's sort of growing on me. I suppose so. There's very little left growing on me. Tony, will you stop being so self-conscious? No. Don't lose him, Brad. Oh, I'll see who it is. <laughs> oh, Joni, this is ridiculous. You, you look lovely, and, and even if you didn't, which you do, there's no need to be ashamed of your part. Telegram for Bradley J. Steele. Thank you. Huh? Gone? Yes, there is just a telegram. Oh. So nobody has to be ashamed of his haircut, huh? Well, I mean, it, uh, yes, it's uh, sort of... Yeah, I know. It's not that you're ashamed of your haircut. It's just that you're so proud of your hat. <laughs> yes, yes. I am not ashamed of my haircut. It's... Well, it's just sort of a force of habit, you know? I'm, I'm getting used to my butch haircut, and I like it. And that's the way you should feel about your hair. Yeah, sure. Now, let's tell it, man. The class committee confirming our reservations for the reunion brunch, the faculty tea, and the dinner dance at night. Boy, what a day that's going to be, Joni. I'm not going, Brad. Joni, you, you mean you're not going? The old college friends, Joe Bigelow, Butch Henderson, uh, Millie Halliday? Don't you want to see the old bunch? I'm perfectly willing to wait until the next reunion. I will not allow myself to be laughed at, especially by all my old friends. Oh, stop being silly and stop exaggerating. I'm not exaggerating. <laughs> I look ugly. <laughs> Joan, you don't look ugly. You look nice. You, you, you look attractive, yes. You, you, you look beautiful. You, you look glamorous. There I am, back to ugly again. <laughs> it's no use, Brad. I refuse to show myself in public until my hair grows in. I'm telling you, I wouldn't allow... Hi, Brad. I just got my wire from the reunion committee. Yes, I know. Uh, so did we. Um, how much you suing the barber for? 
It wasn't the barber's fault. I fell asleep in the chair. <laughs> Judging from the result, he's the one who fell asleep. <laughs> yes, yes, very funny to have you laugh. I, I happen to like it. Hello, Charlie. <laughs> What was that? It's Joan. She got one of those new panda haircuts, and she thinks she looks terrible. She says she's not going to the reunion. Well, if that isn't a ridiculous reason for skipping a class reunion. Besides, why should Joan think that a haircut could make her look... Does it? <laughs> I think it looks fine. Well, in that case, put your foot down, Brad. Make her go. Show her who's boss. You're absolutely right. I'm going to be firm. Ah, oh boy, Brad. I'll see you at the reunion. <laughs> Bet you will, Charlie. Joan, come here. Joan? Uh, yes. Now, about the reunion. You're wasting your breath. We're not going. Oh, oh, yes, we are. Oh, no, we're not. Oh, yes, we are. I'm a mild, easygoing man, but I've got to make a stand someplace. We are going. We are not. Yes, we are. It so happens that I know something about the law. And as your husband, what I have to say is positive, precise, and permanent. And as your wife, what I have to say is poo, pa, and poppycock. And back to poo. Mr. Bigelow, please. Oh, Joe? Uh, hello, Joe. Uh, this is Joan Stevens. Say, uh, forgive me for calling you so early in the morning, but uh, I'm afraid Brad and I can't go to the reunion today. Uh, he's sick. Uh, he sprained his head. Uh, ankle. Uh, uh, we're awfully sorry, but we'll see you at the next reunion. Uh, I know it's in five years. Uh, that ought to be just about right. Okay, bye. Hello, doctor. Uh, yes, doctor. Of course, doctor. Oh, well, anything you say, doctor. All right, doctor. Uh, goodbye, doctor. Joan, Joan, uh, what's all that about, uh, doctor? Brad, you snapped out of it. Thank heavens you're out of it. Out uh, of what? The coma. You've been in a coma for three weeks. Oh, now, look, Joan, I don't know what you're talking about, but if this is one of your ridiculous schemes to keep us from going to the reunion, I'm just going to tell you, you that I... Uh... <laughs> Why, I'm sick. Well, of course you are, darling, but now don't you worry, dear. You're on the road to recovery, and you're going to be all right, Brad. Now, now just don't bend anything, don't forget it. Now, oh, that's the good boy. Oh, a coma for three weeks? Yes, dear. I don't remember a thing. When you were unconscious? Not a single thing. The doctor said it might be like that, a complete blank. Joan, we missed the reunion after all. No, we didn't. We were there. We were? Yes, dear. I guess that knock on the head must have blotted that out, too. That's where you had your accident, at the reunion. Well, what happened? Well, uh, you were showing the football coach how you and Butch Henderson used to work the end-around play. Butch handed you the ball, and you ran around right end and crashed into the opposing halfback, which turned out to be a cement wall. <laughs> mm -hmm. Ooh, ooh, ooh. But up to then, everything was just wonderful. Uh, you had the time of your life. I did? Yeah. Tell me what happened. <laughs> well, all the old bunch was there. It was Frank Higgins and uh, Mildred Halliday. Butch, of course. Good. <laughs> and Johnny White, Louise Monaghan. They're married. Mm -hmm. And Phil Benswagger. He's in the insurance business now, doing very well, too. He got off 
Uh, uh, look, honey, t tell me about little Mildred Howard. Oh, she's just as cute as ever, really. But does she talk a blue streak? Oh, Brad, but when you made that speech at the dinner dance, I was so proud of you. I, uh, made a speech? Yeah. Oh, yes, yes, it's all coming back now. The, the speech, the good time, the old run. <laughs> Joey, aren't you glad you didn't let your haircut keep you from going to the reunion? <laughs> oh, my poor Brad. Oh, uh, you know something, dear? It, it hasn't grown much in three weeks. As a matter of fact, it, it hasn't grown at all. Oh, well, I had it cut again yesterday. I knew how much you liked it, and I thought that it would be nice that when you came out of your coma, I looked just like I did when you went in the coma. Sweet song. I'll get it. Oh, no, no, dear. You're sick, oh, dear. <laughs> Joni. Oh, hi, Mabel. Joni, look at you. Aren't you getting ready to go to the reunion? We were there three weeks ago. What? Oh, well, that's what I told Brad. He thinks he's been in a coma for three weeks. But, Joni... I refuse to leave the house, Mabel, until my hair grows back. Oh, Joni, your hair looks gorgeous. I told you a dozen times. I that... just don't believe one word of it. Now, please, Mabel, be a pal, will you, and help me put this trick over on Brad, huh? But, Joan, I... Oh, look, look what you brought the patient, dear. All you have to do is keep him in bed until tomorrow, after the reunion, and then I'm safe. <laughs> Hello, Brad. I brought you these flowers. Oh, thank you, Mabel. My dear. Well, pretty good, considering what I've been through. Must have had you all pretty worried for the past three weeks, huh? Not me. I mean, I wasn't worried because I knew Brad's tremendous will to live would pull him through. And my nursing. Well, whatever it was, it certainly did the trick. You know, I'm getting to feel better every minute. Brad! Brad Stevens! Brad, you old son of a gun, where are you? That's Butch Henderson. I know that voice anywhere. Oh, he's getting delirious. No, no, I'm not delirious. That's good old Butch. No, no, no. Just keep quiet, that's all. Well, okay, uh, but Joni, I, I thought you liked your haircut. Oh, yes, I've been forced to have it, you know. Just be quiet. Oh, oh, hi, oh, hi, Joni. Oh, hi, ah, well, how are you, Joni? <laughs> Say, when we heard that good old Brad couldn't make the good old reunion, we decided to come right here and see him. Oh, I'll see you, too, of course. Uh, by the way, where is good old Brad? Uh, he's in the good old bedroom. <laughs> right in there. Oh, oh, but I'm sorry you can't go in there. You see, he can't be disturbed because oh. the doctor said... Okay. Hey, I thought he was supposed to have a sprained ankle. Uh, he has. The bandage slipped. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with my ankle. You mean he can go to the reunion today after all? Yeah. Uh -huh. Wait a minute. Wow. The reunion today? But I thought... Oh, there's nothing wrong with my head either, except it ought to be examined in a coma for three weeks. Had a wonderful time, made a speech to a whole bunch. Joan, I ought to... Oh, come on, Brad, forget it. How about that good old reunion, boy? Well, I can't go with my hair like oh, this, really. Oh, Joanie, it's just I'm gorgeous. gorgeous. I'm getting a pan to cut myself as soon as I can. Really oh, come on, Brad, let's get to that reunion, boy. Well, you know what she tried to do to me with that oh, hair. Oh, I was... oh, forget it. You remember that good old end-around play? Oh, Yeah. 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 All right, now let's see. Uh, 60, 80, 45. Wait a minute. Hey, how about a little atmosphere? Yeah, come on, kids. Raggedy Rags. Raggedy Rags, give me X. 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 Raggedy Rags,